Um, so we're, we're going to be looking at some conchoids, um, specifically conchoids of um, uh, the circle, the straight line, which um, are quite well known curves. Um, but first, let me look at what the general conchoid um, is uh, modeling with GX web. Um, so, a general conchoid is uh, we take any old curve, and uh, GXWeb is really good at doing any old curve. Here's my curve here. If I just draw something, um, it guesses I want to draw any old curve, and it gives a parametric um, form of it f of t, g of t, where f and g are generic. Uh, functions. So that's what I want. And what we're going to do to create the conchoid is we'll, we'll put a point on that curve. And notice GXWeb has immediately decided that I'm putting a point on the curve. Um, I want a, a point proportional so that we can now see um, what are the coordinates, for example, of point A. f of s, g of s, so s specifies the, um, the parameter that we're using. Um, for a, a conchoid, what we do is we take a pole, and the pole is just any old point, um, but we'll take the point at the origin, that will make um, things simple for us. Uh, and then we're going to draw a line um, from b, and we'll make it run through a. And we use the incidence constraint to make that happen. And now the conchoid is the curve formed by going a specific distance along that line and um, from A. So we can make that happen by just specifying the distance here. A. And so now if we take the locus of C as S varies. Um, that is the conchoid curve. Um, it, sometimes we'll be wanting the locus of a point uh, closer to the pole. We'll make that A. And uh, have a look at this curve. Um, to clarify things, let's uh, make the original curve a different color. So we've got a whole bunch of red curves. So let's make an uh, original curve uh, light blue there. And so here we see the, the conchoid curves. Uh, of course, the, the curve form is going to vary if we change um, the parameter A. If we make it smaller, both curves are going to converge on the original one. If we make them larger, it's going to go away. We'll pick up some loops. Um, when A has gone um, uh, beyond, when A gets to go beyond the origin there, beyond the polar point. And let's just have a look at the um, uh, how that works. Um, so what are the equations of these curves? Well, um, we're not going to get much luck with an implicit equation because we, um, we're just trying to implicit, implicitize that. Let me just see what we're going to what it does give us, if we say equation of, say, this curve, it just says implicit dies, and then it's got the parametric equations there. Um, so it, it has failed to um, find an implicit equation, which is not too surprising, because we didn't have an implicit equation to what we started with. Um, so the, Um, correct that that's what we use the parametric equations. Um, so let's look at this inner one. Um, what are the parametric equations of that one going to look like? And the same as the previous one, except with a minus instead of a plus um, uh, here. Okay, so that's the general um, the general conchoid. Um, the next couple of videos I'll look at some specific conchoids where we've taken a specific and relatively simple curve.